Fearless Freddy here again, deep in the jungle. It's pretty early out here. Uh, the sun's only been up, let's see, about, oh, maybe five, six hours. So I got up nice and early to get out here. And You know, a couple years ago, I attended this convention. It's a wildlife biologist convention. Sat down with my good buddies, you know, uh, Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter, uh, Jeff Corwin, another wildlife biologist, uh, that Jim dude from some zoo out there on the West Coast, and of course the uh, gray-haired guy that's always trying to sell me insurance from Omaha. But anyway, you know, they all had one thing in common. And uh, that one thing in common was they had given me some great advice. They said, Fearless Freddy, when you're in the jungle, when you're searching out wild animals, when you're looking for uh, unusual plant life, there's one thing you want to do. You want to be thorough. You want to look at everything. Don't leave anything alone. And most of all, don't leave, don't leave any leaf unturned. So we're deep in the jungle today. We're going to go ahead and take their advice. So come on and join me and let's see what we can discover. Oh, nothing there. Nope, nothing there. Nope, nothing there. Oh, that one looks like it might be poison ivy. I better leave that one alone. Nope. 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 Oh, wow. Look at this. I'm going to be here all day. Nothing here. Nothing there. Nope. I think these guys are crazy. Well, there's another leaf I want to see, but behind me, you can see a, a tree that's laying down. It has a bunch of leaves on it, but I don't want to disturb it because there's actually a beaver there that has actually chopped the tree down, so I better leave that to beaver. Oh, well, now here's something rare. Here's a, a dead palm fern. I guess that counts as a leaf. Let's see. Oh, my God, look at that. My wallet. I lost that years ago. You know, so far... I've been turning over a, a lot of dead leaves. I think it's now time to turn over a new leaf. Is a pine needle considered a leaf? Because if it is, I'm gonna be here all day. What do I do here? Nothing. Now, I'm sp standing in the very spot where I've been told George Washington himself planted a cherry tree and the leaves that fall on the ground can lead to several things. First of all, you can discover, in fact, whether George Washington was here or not. And secondly, you might find something very valuable. So let's go ahead and take a close look. Here we are, George Washington's leaves. How do we know it's George? Wait, look. Wow. George Washington and something valuable. Wow, what a discovery. Well, folks, uh, there you have it. Uh, I better go because I'm going to be here probably a few million years. And uh, hopefully I've left no leaf unturned. And um, this is Fearless Freddy. Hopefully I'll catch you later.